Hi guys, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be talking about what's in my wallet and because I'm going to be going on vacation, we're going to be talking about what I carry. All right, so getting straight into it. So this is what I normally carry around as my wallet on a day-to-day -day basis, but because I feel like this has a higher chance of being stolen versus this, this is what I normally carry when I'm going on vacation. So the first thing, this is a card holder from that I got from Target years ago and it's made of leather but i actually prior to getting my chanel wallet i was carrying this around for the longest and it has served me very well i only got this because i've been wanting it for a long time and i enjoy using it it's just as practical as this one this has also a slot at the front that you can carry your most used cards normally here i put my regular credit card and then my driver's license and then in here you can put uh the rest of your cards and cash as well and this does the same thing so in the front pocket when i'm traveling i normally carry my chase sapphire reserve card and that is because it is of course a travel card so there are no foreign transaction fees and then because it's specifically for travel it normally has three percent points that you get back for every purchase that's related to travel and then anything that's not related to travel you get one percent back with which is average. So this is my favorite card to travel with for sure. I do know that it has a higher annual fee. It's $550 per year, but then you get $300 worth of travel credit. So effectively the annual fee is $250 per year, which is doable considering the perks. So in addition to the whole point system and the lack of fees, you get access to several things. My favorite thing, in terms of travel is the access to the lounges that's pretty sweet you also get TSA pre-check for free and then as you'll see in a minute I do carry that card as well so in the center compartment here it's just a zipper compartment I have a few things so first up is my Capital One debit card and this is the second card that I carry with me in terms of things that I use for purchasing so this one which is a magical feature of Capital One is that none of their cards have foreign transaction fees so that's an added perk especially when you're traveling this is a debit slash credit card that is linked directly to my travel fund so i only put money in there for travel and i use it to take cash out and if i somehow lose my chase if i prefer then i can use this to make purchases as well next thing that i carried as i mentioned before is the priority pass card and this is one of the features of the chase sapphire reserve cards that you get access to the lounges you also have a digital version of this that you can get on your phone but i like to carry this in case they don't accept the digital version then i always have this next thing in here is my tsa pre-check card or as they call it the trusted traveler card which has come in very handy it took me a while to get this like i had the chase sapphire reserve for years but i didn't want to get pre-check because i didn't want to deal with the hassle but once you fill out all the paperwork and you have a quick interview like it's pretty you're good to go and this has been really nice it's kind of not so great if you're traveling with other people if you're traveling by yourself then you can like get in and out but if you're traveling with someone that that does not have tsa pre-check then you end up having to like wait with that person so <laughs> Uh, you know, if you get this, try to get your friends or whoever you travel with to also get this card so that you guys can both like, you know, travel at the same speed. The other card that I always carry with me is my medical insurance card and uh, it does offer some international coverage, but it's mainly like emergency, like dire situation. So I always carry with me in case I need it. And then the final thing that I carry with me every day on my person when I'm traveling is cash in whatever the local currency is. So I have five euros here from the last time I went on vacation. Euros are about the only currency that I like don't mind keeping because I'm always going to Europe. So I have that from my last vacation. And then I have a few coins as well from Europe that I still have and will be using on this vacation conveniently. So that is it for my everyday wallet that I carry with me to travel. And then next up, we're going to talk about the backup wallet or the money 
money belt. And I have two different places for cash as a redundancy effort because one time in the past I did lose like a, my actual regular wallet. And then because I had an extra set of cash and cards, I was able to finish the rest of the vacation and not be like stressed. So I definitely recommend having a couple places to keep cash because you just never know when you're on vacation like what's gonna happen to you so this is a money belt and the whole point of this is to carry this like under your clothes so it's hidden from a view uh the only time that i do that is if i'm in a country where i feel like uh the probability of me getting robbed is higher than elsewhere when i'm going around europe i usually don't have to wear the money belt i feel somewhat uh safe for the most part so i don't wear it i will keep it uh at the hotel like in a safe and uh that's that if i'm somewhere else then i will wear it on my person but uh, i'll tell you what i have in here so it's pretty nifty this one is from Sam samsonite you can get them literally everywhere i think i got this from tj maxx but you can get it on amazon uh it has a little front pocket here like if you were going to carry it on your person then you can you know get to a couple compartments so the first compartment is similar to how i keep my other wallet so i have my alternative credit card so this is the chase freedom card this is the card that i carry around with me every day when i'm in america it does have three percent foreign transaction fees so definitely like an emergency card for when you're overseas not to be the first line because three percent on every transaction like adds up after a while so that's that and then my preferred card if i were to lose my first wallet it would be my regular bank card this particular card it's a debit card as well so you can use it for transactions and you can also get cash and it has a one percent for a transaction fee so that's much better than the chase unlimited card and in the main compartment here of the money bills i have a few things so first up a passport of course if i am say in europe and i'm not carrying this on my person then I will keep my passport like with me in my purse. But if I feel like, uh, once again, I'm not as secure as usual, then I will keep it on my person. Uh, the other thing that I carry in here is my driver's license. You don't have much use for this unless you plan to drive in another country, which I have done before. So I normally keep that on hand. And then I usually carry my US cash in here. Or if I'm carrying this close to myself, then I will also carry the local currency as well but since it's very rare that you will need u.s currency outside of america uh i don't carry with, carry it with me all the time i know like for some of the places that i'm going if you're getting a visa they want the visa to be to be paid for with uh u.s currency so that's why i have some extra cash here so i have about 21 dollars i'm gonna need more than that uh by the time i do leave but that's what i had on hand and that is basically all the things that I carry with me when I'm on a vacation and uh, it's worked out for me while well. I travel a lot and I found that having the two wallet system comes in very handy if you want to be prepared or for the worse. So that is it guys for what I carry my wallet on the regular when I'm traveling. If you have any questions or comments or any other suggestions for traveling or otherwise cards or things to have with you, let me know in the comments below and I'll see you guys in the next video.